Hey guys and gals, this is Signing Arrow with the Tier 9 British Medium Tech, the Centurion 7 Slash 1. And if we take a look at the team composition, there are four Centurion 7 Slash 1s and one Centurion 1. So we've got five Centurion tanks on this team. And that's actually pretty amazing. So I am platoon with IO Ether and uh, one of his clan mates, IO Ronic. And we're going to see what we can do on the east side. We've got a 113 and a T-34 as well as the rest of the Centurions. We'll see what we can do with uh, pretty good above average turrets. It's actually a pretty good turret and a pretty good gun depression as well. So Ronick has gone into it looks like bush over there. And we'll see what he can spot uh, while myself and Ether, we're gonna head into the forest and just blast away I suppose. This is the stock turret with the 20 pounder cannon. Can't remember whether this is the type A or type B. So it looks like I actually did expose my hull to that T-34 so I'm gonna back off a little bit and uh, get into a different position. I'm going to wait a little bit to get myself despotted and then move right back up, see if I can use some bushes to my advantage. No, nope, can't really get any hits on that. Oh, wait, the T-34, that was the top of the turret, and I'm trying to hit the hatch. Let's see if we can get it. There we go, this time I got it. And maybe the T-34 didn't move? No. Uh, uh, well, that's okay, run it, got him. There's an IS-8. The whole armor on IS-8, not that strong, but uh, I couldn't see that angle very well, so that was a bounce, unfortunately. And let's see if we can keep moving forward. There's an IS-7. Oh, uh, what is that? A Wolf and Trogger Pants 4? And the T-34 is still there. What's over here? Oh, a Borsig. Oh, that's not... Uh, two Dying Destroyers sitting in the back. Do not want to get hit by those. And uh, right here, I'm trying to find a position where I can use the gun depression. And I decide just just go for it. Let's get this IS-7 out of the way. 113 is coming with me, I think. And I managed to track that IS-7 once again. Uh, Ether gets the fire damage kill. Let's get some shots in on these guys, and it looks like the Indian Panzer has uh, evaporated, it <laughs> looks like. I'm gonna put another shot into the T-34's cheek, Borsig, oh, gone. Now it's just that Waffentrager at the back who is not spotted, so that's actually quite dangerous. These tank destroyers are actually quite hard to spot, especially when they're not moving, but this Waffentrager is moving, he's actually running away. And there we go, the 20 pounder uh, is actually pretty good at range, uh, but I don't really like it. I need something with a little bit more alpha damage, and uh, it feels like a panther with the, that 100mm. You need to steal a lot of kills, or deal constantly be pumping out shots to do the damage that a, you feel like you should do in a tier 9 medium tank. And, uh, I'm never really in a position to do that, so it's kind of hard for me. I'm going to try and grind it out to the 105mm and uh, see how the Centurion 71 plays like that. Uh, also, the uh, added penetration is probably going to be very helpful. What's this? It's a nice 475% health, so this is not good. I'm not going to bounce the shot, uh, the shot coming in. Especially when it goes into the hull, and it looks like I can't even get a shot into the lower plate. Where is he? Oh, his side is shown, but he is blocked by something. And it looks like it was just some, like a bit of brick wall. And here we go. Can I get the kill? Nope. That was a house that got in the way. Okay. 
T54E1. Let's see if we can get him. Oh, he's definitely uh, in one-shot territory. And unfortunately, I bounce on this guy. And I made a T57 firing heat. So there was that one heat shell that went into the... Uh, oh, what do you call those things? It's just the, the wall post? The brick post? And I'm just gonna get behind this building because the T57 reloads in 23 seconds, there or thereabouts. Uh, I did know that the T57 was out of rounds. He shot me that many times. And unfortunately, I did not get that tracking shot. I just wanted to track the T57 and get the assisted damage. Uh, unfortunately, the 20 pounder does not have enough alpha to do so on most tanks. But there you go, a thousand and three points of experience. We got uh, four centurions on the top of the list, 22 shots fired, 19 and 14 penetrations, which is actually quite strange. The 20 pounder does get 226 millimeters of penetration, which is really good. Uh, I guess it's not that great against tier 10 tanks, but it's pretty damn good against everything else. Uh, credits, 14,445 earned with a premium account. Non-premium, I actually lost. Uh, that would be 300... 368 or 88? I can't really tell. This red is terrible on this screen. Uh, so there you go. I hope I can do better with the 105, uh, but we'll see. Thanks for watching. Please press that like button and leave some comments. I'll see you in future videos.